Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'll be showing you how to use a DualSense controller on your PC. So basically the way that this will work is your PC will recognize this as an Xbox controller. So whichever game supports an Xbox controller will be supported with a DualSense controller. So the program that we're going to be using is DS4 Windows. It's a very popular program. It's been around for a long time, uh, basically allowing you to use like a DualShock 4 controller with a PC um, on games that don't support DualShock 4 but do support an Xbox One controller. Uh, so you're going to want to go to this website. I'll have a link in the video description and you'll want to download obviously the latest release. Um, at the time of recording this video it's version 2.2.1 uh, but they are updated pretty frequently so uh, you might have a different version number available. Uh, and then go ahead and download whichever uh, version of Windows you have, whether it's a 64-bit or a 32-bit. Um, most modern computers nowadays are 64-bit, so if you don't know, you're probably fine with just using 64-bit. Um, and then either choose a 7Z file or a zip file. Again, you know, if you don't know, just choose a zip file. Go ahead and download that. Uh, it should download automatically. And we have it over here in our downloads folder. Go ahead and click on it and under compressed folder tools, go ahead and do extract all. Extract it into your downloads folder, that's fine. Um, and then what you wanna do here is you wanna go to your C drive and go ahead and hop into program files. And then just take this DS4 Windows and drag it over here. Click continue. And we can go ahead and open up this folder and open up ds4windows.exe. Uh, it doesn't say .exe, but it's an executable file. Um, and then it says pick where you want your profiles and settings to be saved. Um, we're in the program folder right here. Um, so we might as well just have it all saved here just to you know have it all in one place. Choose program folder. It'll create some folders here. Um, and then if this is the first time installing DS4 Windows on your computer, it'll prompt you for two different driver installations. Um, if you're using Windows 10, just go ahead and choose the first option, um, which is just a standard driver. If you're using a, uh, either Windows 7 or older, I believe, then you also need to choose the option 2 for kind of like a older version of the driver. Um, and then basically that's it. Um, once you have those installed, go ahead and click finish. And then you'll need to reopen up DS4 Windows. It's not going to open automatically after that. Now, once you have this open, um, we can either connect our controller one of two ways. Um, either the easiest way is to just plug your controller into your computer and use it as a wired controller. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate that now. I'm just plugging the controller into the USB-C port. And Windows is setting it up. And now we can see it shows up here in DS4 Windows. The status is the USB symbol because obviously it's a USB connection. Um, and so that's why it shows up there. Now if we go into profiles and go to default, you can also create new profiles. Um, as you can see, it's selected profile. Uh, I'll give you a little tour here of DS4 Windows. There's a ton of customization. Uh, if you just want the standard, you know, plug it in and play, don't mess with any of these settings. Um, but there's also, you know, some things that you can change. If you want to change the color of the light, you can go ahead and do that. Um, you can go over to other and you can change the rumble intensity. I always drop this down to between 25 and 50%. I think 100% with these controllers is just a little too much, but that's just my personal preference. If you want it, you know, at 100%, go ahead and do that. Um, but, you know, especially if you're wireless, of course, that's going to drain your battery quite a bit more. Um, and then go ahead and do save um, and then, you know, it'll back you out to here. If you're going to be using your DualSense controller a lot, um, I recommend going over to the settings, making sure run at startup is checked, and also start minimize. So basically, when you start up your computer, it will start, the program will run, um, but then it'll also not show up in this window every single time. It'll be just right down here in your taskbar, uh, and you won't even notice that it's running. You can just plug in your controller after that and start gaming. So let's say we don't want to use the controller wired. Um, you can do this wirelessly, so I'm just gonna go ahead and unplug it. And what we'll need to do is go over into the settings, uh, the Windows settings, 
go to devices and go to add Bluetooth or other device. Now your computer needs to have a Bluetooth uh, card built inside of it. Um, if nothing, if you don't know, um, I guess you could also just try this out. Um, but a lot of computers do have Bluetooth built in, so a lot of people will be able to choose this. Um, so go ahead and choose Bluetooth. And then on your DualSense controller, you need to hold down the PS button and also what was formerly, I guess, the share button at the same time for about five seconds, and then the LED lights will start flashing. Um, I already have mine paired, so it just automatically connects, but um, basically you go ahead and do that. It'll show up here as wireless controller, and then it'll pop up in DS4 Windows as Bluetooth, as you can see right here. Um, but that's basically it. Uh, you should be all set. Basically any game that works with uh, Xbox One controller will work with now your DualSense controller. So for example, if you wanted to play Halo Master Chief Collection with the DualSense controller, it seems weird, um, but it is possible using this method. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.